Hi and welcome back to another Web Starts Made Easy tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to take your main URL address and then place it as the link within your CSS file, JavaScript file, images within your HTML code that you'll be uploading into your Web Starts website. So what I mean by that is if you look at these particular links here, the first one is for a CSS file, second one is a JavaScript, and the third one is an image. Now hopefully you've already watched the tutorials about external links and how to create a link to an image, so you understand what I'm about to talk here. Now as you open up your files from your zip folders, you obviously will see these CSS and JavaScript and know that they are actually are the folders within that code and they work as a link. Once you upload those files and images into your Web Starts image, all you need to do then is add the main part of the URL link address into these sections. And now what I mean by that is, if you look here, I have www.webstartsmadeeasy.com forward slash uploads. That is the key URL address that I use when I'm adding that within my code. It never changes because basically what it is, it's your domain name. The forward slash means it then goes on to another section within that server and the uploads is basically the uploads file within your website. And so all I do is simply I take this copy and I just then replace the CSS the JavaScript, do that again, and then also the images. So what I've now done is I've now replaced the eternal links folders within the code with the actual proper website links. Once I've done that within the code, I then simply save it, copy and paste it, upload it into Web Starts, and then the whole thing works and does its magic. So yours will be whatever your domain is and then forward slash uploads and if you know that then it's easy then to upload files or create the links within your coding because this always remains the same. And if I bring up um, this page here and go right click as you can see I have a number of options and if I copy the image URL and then paste it in there as you can see it reads webstartsmadeeasy.com forward slash uploads forward slash and then the name of the actual file or the name of the image and if I was to press enter there it is there's that link so hopefully that um, gives you an idea how to create the links once you've uploaded them. Again, as I say in all my videos, repetition is the mother skill. So watch more, learn more, and have fun building your dream website.